For the first time since 2019, a delegation of more than 70 people from Miranda's Pass and the surrounding communities traveled to the state capitol in Austin for the San Patricio Days during the 88th legislative session. Oh, this is fantastic that we have so many people, constituents from San Patricio County that wants to come up here and talk with their representatives and uh, talk about the issues that we have uh, from South Texas all the way even across the state of Texas. We have issues that we have to deal with on a daily, daily basis and we get an opportunity to come up here on this day to do that. The Aranda's Pass Chamber of Commerce and community leaders met with elective representatives and state agency staff on Thursday, March 23rd. So whenever you have your local community come up, they go to offices all over the Capitol and they let the legislators staff know where they're from. Uh, and then the legislator gets that information and he knows that they have a presence in the Capitol. The presence today was enormous. It, it, it was almost a larger crowd than when they came for Harris County Day. So the importance of us being here today is for our voices to be heard and to lobby and also getting in front of our state representatives so they can hear what we have to say. Right, that is why we're here. We've got lots of issues, you know, dealing from the Chamber of Commerce all the way to the uh, economic development groups, the school districts. Everybody has issues that's going on right now in the state of Texas. You know, there's a $34 billion excess now that the state has, and I think we're all trying to get some of those funds to help support what we do in the counties and the cities. The objective was to convey the chambers and city's legislative priorities to state lawmakers and to hear updates on proposed legislative and regulatory changes impacting South Texas businesses. Some, some of the big issues that are statewide in nature that have come from our counties are uh, increasing teacher pay. We have local issues as well that we fight for every session that would add more representatives on the Port Commission from San Patricio County. Uh, we have a lot of issues with respect to funding. Um, as you know, the Harbor Bridge um, is, is funded and it's continuously, uh, the cost continuously increases as materials have increased. So our job is just make sure that that bridge is fully funded um, and that it's also safe, uh, that, that it's being built uh, to the highest standards possible for our communities. We're up here lobbying for items that are important to Texas cities and making sure that uh, the voices of Texas cities are heard at the Texas legislature. Right now, small cities um, have a very difficult time keeping up with all the bills that have been filed. Right now, there's been over 8,000 bills filed at the Texas legislature this session. That is unprecedented and it is, um, I think it's record setting. I can't imagine without the help of the Texas Municipal League, which most cities are a member of, they take those bills and they read them and they help us sort through them. Right now there's also a bill that would say that Texas cities could no longer hire entities to help them sort through these bills or even lobby for these bills. I think people also have to realize that most small cities and mayors work. We are employed outside of our roles as mayors. And so um, it's sometimes difficult for us to drop our day job and run to Austin at a 24 hours notice to give testimony on these bills. And that's where we need the help of our lobbyists or consultants to help us and bring the voice of those um, that, uh, of our residents to Austin. This is the trip the group makes every legislative session in order to work with those making state laws.